We gardeners are always on the lookout for that magic potion, that secret ingredient to transform our plants from satisfactory to spectacular. Word of mouth gardening wisdom passed down through generations often piques our interest. One such whisper making the rounds is the use of yeast as a fertilizer. Could this common baking ingredient be the key to unlocking our garden's full potential? Let's delve into the science and separate fact from fiction. Yeast, a single-celled fungus, is a familiar sight in our kitchens, responsible for the delightful rise in our bread and the fermentation of our favorite beverages. Its ability to break down sugars and release carbon dioxide is what makes it so useful in baking. But could these properties translate into benefits for our plants? The concept of using yeast in the garden isn't entirely new. Gardeners have long experimented with homemade concoctions and yeast mixtures have been touted as growth promoters and soil enhancers. But does the science hold up to these claims? Let's examine the evidence and see if yeast deserves a place amongst our gardening essentials. The internet is awash with recipes for yeast fertilizer, each claiming to be the ultimate elixir for plant growth. Most involve dissolving sugar in warm water, adding yeast, and letting the mixture ferment for a period ranging from a few hours to a few days. Some recipes advocate for adding other ingredients like grass clippings, fruit peels, or Epsom salts, supposedly to enhance the fertilizer's potency. However, it's essential to approach these additions with a healthy dose of skepticism. While some ingredients might contribute minor nutrients, the primary benefit of yeast fertilizer likely stems from the yeast itself and its activity rather than the added extras. The fermentation process generates beneficial microbes that can improve soil structure and nutrient availability. But the complexity of these interactions makes it difficult to pinpoint the exact role of each ingredient in a homemade concoction. To understand if yeast fertilizer lives up to the hype, we must first grasp what constitutes a fertilizer. Simply put, fertilizers provide plants with essential nutrients they need to grow and thrive. These nutrients, classified as macronutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and micronutrients like iron, manganese, and zinc are absorbed by plant roots from the soil. Traditional fertilizers, whether synthetic or organic, deliver these nutrients in readily available forms. However, yeast fertilizer takes a more indirect approach. Instead of directly supplying nutrients, it acts as a biostimulant, promoting microbial activity in the soil. Section four, yeast's nutritional niche, a tiny boost. Yeast itself contains small amounts of nutrients, primarily nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. However, the concentrations of these nutrients in a typical yeast fertilizer solution are relatively low compared to commercial fertilizers. This isn't to say yeast fertilizer is entirely devoid of nutritional value. The fermentation process produces various byproducts, including amino acids, vitamins, and growth hormones, which can be beneficial to plants. Additionally, the microbes thriving in a yeast-rich environment can make existing nutrients in the soil more accessible to plant roots. Section 5. Conventional fertilizers versus yeast. A comparative look. Comparing yeast fertilizer to conventional fertilizers is like comparing apples and oranges. They work in different ways and address different needs. Conventional fertilizers provide a quick and targeted nutrient boost, while yeast fertilizer focuses on improving soil health and stimulating plant growth indirectly. For addressing specific nutrient deficiencies, conventional fertilizers remain the go-to solution. However, yeast fertilizer can be a valuable tool for promoting overall soil health, encouraging beneficial microbial activity and potentially enhancing nutrient uptake by plants.